Well, the rail network was um, severely affected yesterday with most trains cancelled, simply too dangerous to travel. And that was also experienced by many Welsh rugby fans in Dublin who were stranded because of flight and ferry cancellations. Well, Alexandra Hartley is at Cardiff Air Airport for us uh, this evening. We can see that the wind is still raging there, but travel-wise, things are starting to get back to normal. Uh, slowly, Andrea, things are starting to get back to normal, but there have been several delays, disruptions and even cancellations here today. The weather, as you can see, is still very unpredictable. We're battling very strong winds here. Not a great hair day, uh, but there's also been freezing rain and hail as well here today. But conditions yesterday were even worse. One flight that flew in from Dublin, uh, which was full of fans from the rugby, tried to land here, circled a few times, but due to extreme conditions was forced to abort that landing and divert to Manchester and then passengers had to get coaches back to Cardiff. Of course, some Wales fans are still stuck in Dublin tonight, but the disruptions have not just been in the air, they've also been on the roads and the rails as well. Flipped on its side and saved by the barrier. This lorry's fate an example of just how powerful and fierce Mother Nature can be. As a result, the M487 bridge was closed whilst the driver is being treated for minor head injuries. Storm Kira caused havoc on the railways too. Travel resumed for most today after a weekend of cancellations. But two routes in the north still remain shut. We do have some lines in the north of Wales, the Cambrian coast uh, and the line of a Stinyard line, which are still being assessed for some damage. But our staff have been out over the weekend working tirelessly to make sure that as much of the network is open for business today and the passengers can travel and get about their business. More than two days on and some rugby fans are still stuck in Dublin. Adele and her family travelled by ferry and had hoped to get home to Merthyr Tidville today, but now face another night stranded. We now have to wait and travel tomorrow, so we're going to be delayed by 24 hours now. Um, it's impacted really on the schooling for the, for the boys, uh, work for myself, and we now have to pay for an extra night um, accommodation here. So it's been a bit of a nightmare, really. In the air, cancellations and delays continue to cause disruption. But with strong wind speeds and poor conditions, airport staff say safety is the priority. A captain of an aircraft won't make the decision to depart uh, to, an air, to an airport if they're not happy with the conditions. And even if they do and the conditions deteriorate, uh, they've always got that option at the last moment to, uh, to divert if necessary, which had happened on one of the flights yesterday. So, so the, uh, the dealing with professional aviators and, and the, um, the airlines themselves, they, they, they monitor this very closely, as do we. Tonight, the message is to check routes and plan ahead before travelling. Well, the good news is a flight from Dublin full of fans who were at the rugby has landed safely. They were meant to fly yesterday. It was delayed by a day, so they had an extra night in Dublin. Uh, but uh, they even were delayed today because there was a snowstorm at Dublin Airport. Uh, so whilst many passengers arrived a little jaded and tired, most of them just relieved to be home safely. The plane was about to take off and it snowed. So we sat on the tarmac for two and a half hours waiting to be de-iced. Should have been left to Dublin yesterday at 1 o'clock, 12.45. Day of work missed, but there you go. When it started snowing, when we were sitting on the plane, and we sat on the plane for nearly three hours before we took off, that was a little bit worrying because I didn't want to have another night. Well, tonight, the old Severn Bridge on the M48 still remains shut. There are many uh, train services, especially in North Wales, that are still affected by flooding and disruption. The message is for anyone who is planning to travel by air, by road or by rail is to check your journeys and do stay safe out there. Alexa, get yourself back into the warm.